Hey everyone, Blazy here. I hope you've all had a fantastic start to the week. Um, I've had a fantastic start because we hit 100 subscribers over the weekend, which is absolutely crazy. It was only about a month ago we were still sat on 20, so it's grown incredibly quickly. And it's a sincere thank you from me uh, to anyone who subscribed, watched a video, liked it, put a comment on it. Um, it means the world. And a lot of people chase YouTube because they want the money, all of that sort of stuff, but I genuinely produce videos because you guys enjoy them. Um, and I think that's been the most important thing to me over the journey so far is seeing all those comments from you guys, enjoying the videos, telling me what you think about the football cards. I love it. So yeah, a big thank you from me and here's to many more videos to come. So today, guys, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be doing another squad draft builder. And we're going to be doing it a little bit differently to how some other people have done it because we're going to be doing it from the Panini Adrenaline and XL packs. And we're not just gonna be doing it from the Premier League packs. We have got packs from the Premier League, packs from Syria, and packs from Liju One. So what's gonna be really exciting is we're gonna open, one, two, three, we're gonna open six packs of Panini Adrenaline cards today. And what we are gonna do is build the best starting 11 that we can from the cards we pack. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, then please feel free to drop it a like at the end. And if you want to see more content, uh, then do subscribe. So we're going to build our best squad. And I want you guys to let me know whether you think this is a league winning side. So here we have it, guys. It is time for the Panini Adrenaline squad builder featuring the Premier League. We have the Syria packs here as well, the Calcia Tori. And we have a solo Liju 1 pack here to open too. So... I should have more than one Liju one pack, but I ended up making too many videos for TikTok when I got the box. I'm a slave to the tuck. So we've only got one of those today, but we've got two Premier League packs, three Serie A packs. So we've got plenty of players to pick from. I'm also doing this video standing up behind it because I need a camera that is wide enough to get the whole team in. So I'm having to stretch today, guys. So ignore me if I end up knocking the camera off or anything like that. I'm a bit clumsy. Um, so yeah, this could be quite an interesting squad builder. So We've also got here, guys, some of my top pulls from this series so far. So I thought it'd be a great idea to show you these because some of you would have only seen the Premier League cards. So here's my biggest pull so far from the Serie A set. It is the top player in Signy card. And look how nice that diamond design is. It's beautiful. Um, they did a really good job, Panini, with the uh, Serie A set. And they also did a really, really good job with the Liju 1 set because they did the Ballon d'Or range. Look at that Ballon d'Or, Killian and Bat featuring three different action shots. And it's 302 rated. So, again, Panini pulled it out of the bag with Liju 1. So, we've got a nice Mbappe card so far. And we've also got the Golden Baller card, which was actually my first ever pack opening video. It came out really badly, but I did get a Golden Baller in my first TikTok pack opening. So, I haven't actually got the Golden Baller individual cards. This is the only thing I've got. But we've got the Golden Baller Invincible. So, they're my three big pulls so far. I'm hopeful across six packs we can get something good, but at least build a squad that's good enough uh, to withstand. I'd say the Champions League. We don't just want a league winning squad here. We want a strong squad if we're picking three leagues. So without further ado, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start it off with the Calcia Tori pack. So we've got three of these. So to not spoil, you know, doing the Liju one straight away when we've only got one pack, we will do the Syria pack first. Uh, and let's see what we've got. So, our first pack we have, and again, I've got to try and centre this standing up. We have Charalampos Likagianis from Caligari. And he is a defender, I believe, or a striker. I can't tell. We'll work it out at the end. We've got Bonazzoli as well from Torino. We have an Igor card from Fiorentina. We have a goalkeeper, which is good. It's always good to have a goalkeeper in your squad. Ivan Providel. Uh, and we have, I think, one more card. Two more cards. We've got two more cards, guys. So fingers crossed we've got something good here. Right. Are you ready? Let's flip it over. So the first card is Milenkovic Savic. What a card, guys. That is a great pull for our team. 274 rated. Wow. Um, this is special, guys. It's one of the stellar set from the Serie A, and that is a beautiful card. He is definitely going in our squad, I think. 274, a great midfielder, guys. And our second card is a super combo, Locatelli at 239. Not quite a stellar card, not quite as good as our Milenkovic Savage, but it's still a nice card. And again, Panini, banging job with that design as well. It reflects the light beautifully. So we've got a super combo, 
um, card there as well. So two midfielders from that pack, guys. One goalkeeper. We have two strikers and a defender, I believe, from that first pack. So not too bad. We will move on now and we will do a Premier League pack next because we need to get some weight behind the squad. The Premier League typically has the better players as well. Uh, I'm a big Newcastle fan. Still haven't got Alan St. Maximan, so hopefully we can get him in one of these two packs. Um, my only bugbear, right, with the Panini Premier League packs is the cards are all over the place. So it's actually really difficult to do a good pack opening. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. We have got a James Rodriguez. Uh, and I believe he's a midfielder on these cards. Um, no, he's a forward on the Premier League set. We have a Kai Havertz from Chelsea, 245, looking like a strong card. Next, we've got a Wolves player. We have got Bobby Firmino. And I'm just moving out of the way because I nearly spoiled that. So we've got Bobby Firmino at 279. And we've got a Romain Saiz. What I was telling you guys is the Panini Premier League packs are rubbish, right? They're rubbish in terms of how they design the cards, in terms of putting them in the right way in the pack. But I had to move that off screen because we just got, guys, a golden baller. We hit my first golden baller and we did it on video, which is crazy. So we have got Seung Hon Min, 300 rated forward for Spurs. What a pack, guys. What a pack. That is crazy. So Son Heung Min is going in our squad. And, and he is our first golden baller from the Premier League set. Wow. Look at that, guys. What a card. We have a certified forward going on here, guys. We have a Champions League team centre forward going on. Well, centre forward, forward here going on. So Seong Hong Min is going in our squad. We're going to get him up there early. Uh, and our final card to end the pack is Godos. Uh, the midfielder rated 2 to 8 for Brentford. So some nice cards in that Premier League pack, guys. Some really nice cards. Uh, before we do a Lizzie 1 pack, we're going to do our second Serie A pack because what I want to do is make sure we've got one pack from each league to end out this video, guys. So we are going next with another Serie A pack and hopefully proof is in the pudding. Yeah, look how good Panini are when they do the foreign leagues. All the cards are the right way up in the right order, making pack videos so easy to do. Uh, and straight away, we can see we've got a Rick Karsdorp uh, from Roma, 229 forward. Not quite a Seung Hong Min, but a nice card. Um, so we'll move him into the pile. We have Lazovic from Hellas Verona. We have got Pasalic uh, from Atalanta, doing great this season as well. Atalanta are really coming of age recently. Love watching them play. We've also got Ramsey Ayer from Torino. Uh, we have an insert here. So if there are any Italians watching this that collect these cards, grab the QR code, guys. I don't play the game. Um, and that leaves us with two, right, two rare cards to end this pack open. And are you ready, guys? Let's see what we've got. We have got Regista Locatelli. So another Locatelli card. We have two Locatelli cards from today's video. And the Regista is a really, really nice card, that. So we have a Regista Locatelli, which is probably going in the squad. And we have a super combo, lasagna as well. Wow, nice card as well. So that's our second super combo from today's pack opening, guys. So we've got some nice cards so far, some nice parallels, uh, some good players. Uh, and what that means, guys, is we're left with three packs to go. Three packs before we have to draft our squad. So I think it's only time now we bring the Lizu one pack into play. It feels thick. It feels like there's a good number of cards in there. Um, I did get a uh, Mbappe from this box, so I don't know whether in this box there were going to be any more insert cards, but there's still a Ballon d'Or Neymar card to be collected. So let's see if we can get it in this pack, guys. So we have Seco Fofana from RC Lens. We have from Nantes, jean Carlos Castelletto. Uh, nice kit, the uh, Nantes kit. We've also got from Lens, Mauricio, which is a nice card, 211. We have Jeremy Morel at 205. Again, quite low for our team, so I'm not quite sure he's getting in there. We have a Kaylard card, a goalkeeper from Mets. We have a Yongo rated 208 for Montpellier. Um, and then to finish off, I think we've got a, another QR code here. Yep, yeah, QR code for any French fans watching. Feel free to grab that one. We have a Dan and Doy from Nice, 207. So the Lizu 1 card seems to be really lowly rated, guys. I am not sure, unless this final card is a baller, I do not think we are going to be having any Lizu 1 players in our squad. But let's have a look. Our final card of the pack is a defender. I did French at GCSE, if you didn't tell. We have got Heroes Girudon. 
Uh, and I can't see what club he's from. It's from, and again, Troy's, from Troy's, 224. Um, for a hollow card, that isn't the best rating. Probably the best Liju 1 card we have packed so far, though. So we'll have to look at the end and see if we can squeeze him into our squad. But if we're pushing for Champions League, guys, you know, we'll have to relook at it. But lovely kit. So for anyone who supports Troy's out there, that is a banging kit. I like that. The sponsor looks great. So we got a Troy's card to end the pack. And that is our Liju 1 pack done, guys. Which means we're just left with the Premier League and Syria to go. And I think we should save a foreign pack to last. We should go with the Premier League pack. We've already got one golden baller. I don't think these packs were purchased at the same time. Uh, I always buy mine from Morrison's. Um, so it could be that one of these packs was a multi-pack. And one was just purchased from Morrison's. Which means we could have another golden baller in here. Right, the cards aren't all the right way round. So again, we're just going to have to go with this, guys. Uh, it really does frustrate me. But we've got Phil Foden off the bat. 249 Phil Foden. We've just gone through all those Liz U1 cards that have really low ratings. And we pulled a Phil Foden out at 249. Looking like a strong contender um, for this squad. We've also got uh, Veltman here at 238. Again, absolutely killing it on the snaps, the Premier League cards. Uh, so Veltman from Brighton. A diamond as well. Diamond Reese James. Oh, I tell you what, guys, I love the diamond design. And I think Panini really missed a trick in the Premier League. It looks great on that Insignia card. It looks great on that Mbappe card. It is a real shame that we didn't see more of these. But we've got a diamond Reese James. And he is definitely, definitely going in the squad, I think. We have also got on here at 224. I can't see the name behind the camera. Fabio Silva from Wolves. Uh, a nice player. We have Nemanja Matic from Man United at 239 as well. And our final card is Sieralta from Watford. Um, again, the Premier League players are rated a lot more highly than the uh, Serie A and Ligue 1 cards. So it may be a Premier League dominated squad. I might do a little bit of research before we draft the team. But here we go, guys. Final pack of the day. It's a Serie A pack. I hope you're all manifesting for a big card. Ronaldo. Sue so still in Serie A when these cards were produced. So there is still the possibility that we have a Ronaldo in here. Right, guys, let's have a look. So we have Zortea, um, and I can't remember that's team for the life of me. So please forgive me. I don't know if it tells me on the back. It doesn't. Um, Apologise for any Italian fans out there. But we have a, a, Zortea, a Zortea card in our first pack. We have Pulgar from Fiorentina. Oh, Bastoni. I do know Bastoni. Bastoni is a solid defender. We have an Inter Milan Bastoni next. We have got a Christian Molinaro, 202 rated. And finally, to finish off the pack, we have two limited editions and one is an attacker. So maybe Cristiano is behind there, guys. Let's flip it round and see what we've got. Our first card is a Specialista Kalanoglu from Inter Milan. Great player, solid midfielder. We may have a few Serie A midfielders in our squad. That is a really nice insert there, guys. And look at the way the light reflects off it as well. This is what I mean. Panini did a banging job. A banging job at these Serie A cards. Um, love that design. Absolutely love it, guys. We've got Cannon Oglu. And our final card is not Ronaldo. It looks like Rebic. It is. It's Super Combo Rebic. 227 rated. Again, we've got three Super Combos from three packs today, guys. So, some nice players to fill out our squad. So... That is our pack open is done, guys, and it's time to draft. And here is the highlight, our Seong Hong Min. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to pause the video, sort these out into positions, and we are going to draft our ultimate squad from these six packs. So, guys, it is time for us to draft, and we're going to call them Dub Hunters. Oh, not Dub Hunters. So, guys, we are going to be drafting Blazy's best starting 11 now from all those players that we just packed. And we've got them organised into uh, positional piles. And we are going to start with the goalkeeper. And actually, we didn't do too well with goalkeepers across the packs. We only got two goalkeepers, which means we're going for Mark Orell Calliard or Ivan Provdel in goal. Difficult one for me because I'm not too familiar with either. So, we're going to go for the one with a higher rating. We are going to go with Provadel in goal from Spezia. And Spezia have a banging kit this year as well. For you football fans that have seen Spezia's kit, um, it is something else. So, we are going to get him. I'm just making sure we can see it on the video down there. Yes, we can. We've got Provadel kicking us off in goal. Not the best goalkeeper um, we could have packed. So, what we're going to do, guys, is hopefully get some solid defenders to see him out. So, we then got for defenders, and I mean he has to go in there, doesn't he? There's no doubt about that. We have got Reese James, Diamond Reese James, 254 rated. Um, so we're definitely going to be having to have him in the team, guys. So he is going straight in at that right back position. 
without any sort of thinking there. So we've got a solid defender in there now, guys. And what we're just going to do is flick through the options we've got. We've got Sace, we've got Veltman, uh, we have got Sierra Alta from Watford, uh, Calaceto, Jeremy Morel, uh, Ayongo, uh, Likagianis, Igor. Just realised I can read them out looking at the camera. Kars Dorp, Aya, Zaretta, Bastoni and Molinaro. So I don't think, again, I don't think we did too well here with the defender guards, guys, cards, guys. There's no standout. I am going to go straight in here and put Veltman in. Uh, we're going to put Veltman in at the back here. So we're going to play Veltman uh, and Reese James in there because I think Brighton defensively are great. Uh, and there was another card that stood out for me here, guys, as we were going through, um, or two, actually. And actually, this is it. We're going to break the Premier League curse here now. We are going to play Bastoni at centre-back with Veltman. He's a little bit lower rated than Sace, but I don't think that's a fair reflection of his qualities. He's a great centre-back, performs fantastically well at Inter. So we are going to go with Bastoni, Pear and Veltman at the back. And our final pick, guys, is actually going to be Karsdorp. We're going for Karsdorp. He's 229 rated. He's actually rated higher than Bastoni. So what we are going to do is we are going to play him at the left-back position. So straight away, guys, we have our defensive line sorted there. We are playing four at the back, uh, and that is definitely to compensate for the goalkeeper department. And what we will do now, guys, is we're going to look at what players we can get into our midfield. My one concern with this, guys, is that I can't play Song Hyun Min centre forward. I've got to play him as a winger, which means we're going to have to play 4-3-3. But undoubtedly, we did the best with uh, our midfielders because we've got some great cards in here. A super combo Locatelli. That's Stella Milinkovic-Savic, which is definitely going in there. Kahaoglu, Specialista, uh, Giradun Heroes, a Regista Locatelli, 250. So we've also got Lazovic, Palasic, Pulgar, Kai Havertz from Chelsea, another strong pick. Uh, Godos, Phil Foden as well, another pick. There's some great attacking uh, midfielders in there. Unfortunately, no Liju 1 players are going to make it, I think, in the midfielder department. But first pick has got to be that Regista Milinkovic Savic. So we're going to stick him there in the middle uh, in front of our centre-backs. And then, I think I'm sorted here, guys. I think I'm sorted. We are going to play the Regista Locatelli um, alongside him. Uh, and our final card, it's going to be a non-holographic card for me as well. We are torn between Kai Havertz and Phil Foden, but I just feel like Foden is so much more consistent than Havertz. So we are going to play Phil Foden there. And that sorts out our three midfield. So I'm hoping that... Again, I think Locatelli is more of a defensive midfielder guy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move Milenkovic Savic into a more, you know, central role, and we can play Locatelli as a CDM, um, and Foden and Savic as CIMs pushing attacking um, midfielders. So we've got our midfield line sorted, guys. And for our forwards, we've got to pick from that golden baller: Siong Min, Lasagna, Anti Rebic, Bonazzoli, James Rodriguez, Bobby Firmino. And Fabio Silva. So obviously a dead set choice has got to be that golden baller, Seong Hyun Min. He is going in there on the wing as one of our wing forwards on the left. So we've got Seong Hyun Min starting it off for us. And the rest of it, guys, I'm going to be honest, is actually really difficult because there's no standout players in here um, for me. Nothing too crazy. I'm thinking what we might have to do, because I know Rebic can play on the wing, is I think we're going to go with Bobby Firmino in the middle, you know. Bobby always turns up for Liverpool when he's needed. He went through a bit of a drought a while ago and got back on track, but injuries haven't been kind to him. So I think we're going to go with Bobby Firmino in the middle, uh, maybe even as a false nine, and we are going to play Rebic on the right. Uh, he should play the left, but I think Xiong Hyun Min's probably better in that position. So we are going to play Rebic on the right-hand side. And that, guys, is, for me, the best start in 11 that we can pull from the packs we opened today. So we have got Provadel in goal. At back, we've got Rhys James, Veltman, Bastoni, Karsdorp. In the middle, we have got Milenkovic, Savic, Regista, Foden. And up front, we've got that golden baller, Song Kyung Min, Bobby Firmino, and Rebic on the right, which means in total we have no Liz Yu one cards, uh, but we did only one open one pack, so we'll forgive them. However, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six Serie A players and five Premier League players. So actually, we did the best with our Serie A cards from that those packs, as opposed to the Premier League. I know, I know we got that golden baller here, that Xiong Hun Min, but we actually did better with the Serie A cards on there. So... 
That is our best starting 11, guys. And you know what? I think this would be a solid Premier League side. I think this is a top, top, top six, maybe. Maybe I'm pushing it with top six or top eight. Top six to eight team here, I think. It would be challenging those Europa League places, but it's definitely not a Champions League winning side. I just think we're a little bit weak at the back. We're weak in goal. But actually going forwards, I think this team is really strong. So that's my team, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you would have chose a different team from those players or whether you would have gone with the same start at 11. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you could give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, then please do subscribe as well. We've got plenty more football content coming. We've got a Bundesliga Chrome box. We've got a Champions League Chrome box coming. Lots of content. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you on the next video.